it's Erica and today's video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my best tips to create a very cozy room for like the upcoming fall and winter seasons or if you just like to have a cozy room year round kind of like me. <laughs> I often get questions asking me where I buy the decor I have in my room and what I do to make my room look boho and all those kinds of questions so I thought today I would kind of answer those all in this video. So I'm just going to share with you guys a few items, products that I think could definitely make your room a little bit more homey or cozy and just give like really zen vibes because that's definitely what I go for with my room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I want to do more how-to slash tip videos on my channel, so leave some requests for those down below. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Okay, so my first tip for you guys would be lighting. Lighting makes a heck of a difference in a room, and for me, I like very dim lighting. I think it makes it a lot more zen and peaceful at night especially, which is the only time I use lights in my room. So you can probably guess what kind of lights are my favorite, but I absolutely love fairy lights. So I have some lit up behind me right over there. I've also hung up some old Christmas lights, which I know a ton of people use that strategy as well. And those work perfectly. Tip number two is all about scents because a scent obviously changes the atmosphere wherever you are. One of the biggest reasons I love fall is because of all the fall scents. Oh my goodness, can we talk about Bath & Body Works candle section? <sighs> Heaven on earth. <laughs> yeah, I love candles. Candles are amazing and life-changing. But if you're in a place where you can't light candles, don't worry, Bath & Body Works has got you covered. Also Target and everywhere else that sells like scents. But Room sprays are awesome. I love room sprays. I have one in cinnamon spice vanilla, which is very, very fall-esque, as well as leaves from Bath & Body Works, a classic fall scent. But they have these year-round, so even if it's summer, like you can have a very like beachy scent in your room, or if it's winter, you can have a Christmas tree scent in your room if you don't have an actual Christmas tree. I'm telling you, you guys, scents can make or break a room. No joke. <laughs> I'm also a big fan of burning incense, so if you're into those, I know a bunch of places sell them. World Market, Whole Foods even sells them. Those are like my favorite things to fall asleep to. Like I'll leave an incense stick burning and it just smells amazing. Tip number three would be to have some plants in your room. Have life growing in your room because there are actually quite a few benefits to plants. They purify the air, they release oxygen which allows us to breathe easier, and they're just so darn stinking cute and pretty. Like I love flowers, I love succulents, and I recently got a new house plant and his name is Gerald. Um, yes, I named my plants. Of course, you do have the responsibility of keeping them alive, and I will admit, at times, it's been difficult for me. I say just take on what you can handle. If succulents are your thing because you don't have to water them as much, get those. Maybe a cactus. I have a little cactus up there. I don't know if you can see it. Plants are one thing that just make me so happy without even doing anything, just by looking at them. They're just amazing things. Also, they just give off a very earthy vibe in your room because they're a part of nature, you know? My next tip for you guys is sort of a no-brainer, but if you want a cozy room, you've got to have cozy blankets. <laughs> this one in particular I got at Target last year. This is from like one of their fall collections, but you can find blankets at any store. Next tip slash idea for you guys is to have photographs in your room, whether that's photos of inspiration, photos of you and friends and family, whatever kind of photos you want. I just think photos add this very homey vibe to any room. I think that's so cute and it just shows like a part of who you are. So I have photos of inspiration from like Free People magazines all around my room. I have a little bulletin board of photos of me and my friends and family just because I do live away from most of my friends and family or a lot of them. Every time I see it, it makes me happy. It reminds me of all the memories captured in those photos. It adds a homey vibe to any room. This next tip might be a little bit weird, but I honestly think music is a factor that could make your room feel more homey and like more, I don't know, comfy, cozy. Especially for like the fall and winter season, I always make a playlist. Well, I make a playlist for every season, but if you guys want to check out my current Spotify playlist with a bunch of folly, vibey songs, don't even know if that's a word, folly? No, 
album. <laughs> but yeah, I have a bunch of cool songs that I've been listening to lately on there and I will have that linked below. It's on my Spotify. I'm hoping to do a like fall music playlist very soon actually. I should probably film that today. Another way that you can put music in your room is a record player. I have a record player from Urban Outfitters. It works really well. I love it. I think there's just something about listening to music on a record player that is different than just playing it on your iPhone or on a speaker. It's very peaceful, very relaxing, and depending on what vinyls you buy, you know, it can add a completely cool vibe to your room. So for my last tip, I just want to kind of share with you guys where I get a lot of my decor pieces that I have around my room. A lot of my pieces of decor I've actually gotten like at antique fairs or at the trading post. It's always cool to support like local brands or local sellers. I also recently purchased like a thrifted nightstand from the trading post. Other places to look at are Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Those kinds of stores usually have like really cute pieces of decor for pretty expensive prices. Also it's fun to DIY things and try to make things for yourself. I know I want to start doing like macrame wall hangings so maybe I'll start doing that. Another thing that I like are tapestries. I know a ton of people have them now. You can buy them online on Amazon for super cheap. I got mine at Urban Outfitters. I have another one hanging on my door from a local shop back home. I found the most beautiful conch shell on the beach and I decided to bring it home and now it sits on my nightstand so literally you can find room decor anywhere that's pretty much it for all my tips i have for you guys i hope this video was helpful if it was let me know in a comment below or by giving this video a thumbs up i love you all so much thank you for watching this video don't forget to check out all my social media instagram twitter snapchat also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a vlog channel that I vlog on pretty frequently, so I will have that linked in the down bar as well. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.